You've got it locked to KOM News Extra, everybody, and it is a very special time of year, not just because you got to break out that new calendar that you got for Christmas, but it is Girl Scout Cookie Time. It is one of my favorite interviews to do every single year because we talk about these delicious and even nutritious cookies. Bet you didn't know that. Now, joining me now are Troop Leader Ellen Peter and Brownie Ave Peter. Ladies, half a day, and thanks so much for joining me. Half a day. Okay, so um, let's talk about the cookies themselves. Um, they're basically a cultural institution right now. Like everybody knows the cookies. Doesn't matter who you ask, young person, old person, um, they've always got a specific flavor. Like there are thin mint people, there are shortbread. I happen to be a shortbread person myself. So what makes the cookies so wonderful and so distinct? Um, well, they only come out once a year. And so there's great demand for it when it first comes out. And um, really, even after they're all gone, people still keep asking us for them. And so it's just anticipation all the time for the, the cookies to come out. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so it's demand. And plus they add a lot of sugar, I think. <laughs> I have they? I don't know. Okay, well, that, that's <laughs> I think there's some nutritious cookies, but. That's always good. Most I, of them are vegan, but I'm not sure how many are actually healthy. Well, yeah, like I said, <laughs> as, as we've learned in, um, in the last few years and everything, there have been some studies done, and the cookies are actually healthier than some other cookies, let's say, you know, like th that are out there. Yeah, like they're healthier than a Twinkie, at least. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay, so uh, Avi, what do you like about being um, a brownie so much? And, and when you're selling cookies, um, what do you, how do you approach someone? And how do you say, hi, you know, I'm Avi, and would you like to buy cookies? Well, if you're in a booth sale, you would be like, hi, do you want to buy Girl Scout cookies? If you're saying no, it's like, oh, that's all right, but if they do want to buy Girl Scout cookies, you have, you should ask them, oh, what flavor do you want? And then if they don't know any of the flavors, you, you have, you, you tell them what the flavors are. Otherwise, they're going to be like, ooh, what's this? <laughs> You've got a bright future ahead of you in sale, <laughs> I, I guarantee it. Okay, so uh, Ellen, when do the cookies actually arrive on Guam? And for those of us who are hardcore consumers and everything like that, when can we just dive into the box? Well, the cookies, come on island and we get them on January 18th this Saturday so all the troops will get them this Saturday and the for the next two weeks the people who pre-ordered will be able to receive their cookies after that if you did not pre-order you can get them at booth sales in February the first two weeks of February the booth sales are at Kmart they're at GPO at the Costa Glass stores um, and then there might be troops who have them at their schools or at other places, but they'll be out and about, and I'm sure you can probably uh, try to get some from somebody who pre-ordered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they are a tough item to come by, like once, once they start selling, because everybody's like, hey, it's Girl Scout cookies time, yeah. and like yeah. everybody runs to the ATM, everyone gets something. Okay, yeah. so Avi, I want to ask you, because we've got these big oversized boxes here, we've got the peanut butter patties, and everybody loves these. Uh, the Thin mints, of course, I think those are probably the most popular. I don't know if yeah. you know. They are? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite flavor? The peanut butter patties. It's, okay. Well, it's it's like if, we, if you had a Reese's peanut butter cup cookie, that would be it, except it's better than a Reese's peanut butter cup, and somehow it's still chocolate and peanut butter. And those are the two <laughs> best flavors split. that you can ever combine. Yeah. So. That is wonderful. Okay, so... um. How have you been able to raise such a masterful salesperson? And, and, you, and what about being involved in the Brownie program do you think she's taken away from? Um, well, I've been with her troop since they were daisies. So I've been, she's been a Brownie, for, or I'm sorry, she's been a Girl Scout for four years. This is her fourth year, so I've been a Girl Scout for four years too. And um, I think what I like about the Girl Scouts is the idea of service for um, younger kids. I have, I teach older students, uh, high school students, and we emphasize the idea of service and serving the community. And I like that I can start from um, when they're young and hopefully make it just a, you know, a part of their lives throughout and not just when they're older or, you know, that this is something that they'll keep doing even when they're no longer Girl Scouts. Now, what I want to know is what happens with the money that's generated from the sales of the cookies and wh where does that all go? Well, half of the money we do to some kind of community project and the other half we do to have fun. Well, this year our troop is donating half of the money to UNICEF and the other half we're going to use to have a tea party at the Hyatt. Wonderful. Yeah. Are you excited about that? I can, I can tell yes. clearly. Okay. And what do you like so much about being, a, being like a brownie right now and what have you been able to like take away? Because you know, obviously your mom is saying 
um, you know, you're building an appreciation for being able to serve the community and be a responsible person. But um, what, what about it is the most fun for you? I like earning the badges because, of course, you have to do something to get them. But the thought of of doing something to achieve something, that's good, even though it happens to be something that you get ironed onto your sash. <laughs> <laughs> and anything worth doing is worth doing well. Exactly. Okay. Well, tell me about like um, your sash and everything. Tell me about some of the uh, some of the pins and the badges that you have now, because obviously you're very well decorated. So you've been you've put been putting a lot of work into this. Yeah, even though this is only work of two years. <laughs> very <laughs> impressive. Well, what are yeah. some of those, real quick? Um, this one is just the Girl Scout membership pin, which you always get when you when when you get when you get to be a Girl Scout. This one is a one that you get when you're a brownie. It's a brownie sprite one. Um, you wanted to show them. Though. These are the cookie ears. This one's for some first aid Girl Scout thing, and then these are the badges, and then here are the patches in the back. Wow. <laughs> Very, very impressive. All right, nice, nice job. Okay, so I can't wait to buy a box of um, shortbread cookies from you and everything. So as soon as we're done with this and everything, I'm going to buy a box from you, I promise. Okay. Well, okay. You can give me Here you go. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. All right. You've made my day. I'm, I'm going to buy some cookies. And, you know, like you can see, uh, any of our production crew, um, we're going to take a lot of orders. How many have you sold right now? Around 100. 100? Yeah. You hit the triple digit mark. Yeah. Congratulations. Good job. Bam. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ellen and Avi. A delight to meet you, and, uh, and good luck this cookie season. I, those of us who love cookies, um, we're certainly appreciative of it and uh, doing very wonderful work with young women. Thank you. All right. Thanks so thank much. Thank you. Stay tuned. We are back right after this, and obviously uh, we've got some work to do, so stay tuned.